Nintendo is looking into making more video content beyond just movies, although precisely what that means, Kamishima did not make clear. Uh, they do want to be directly involved with the process, though, and they're open to partnering with other companies to make it happen. This was in direct response to a question about the infamously awful Super Mario Bros. movie, where they Best just, movie ever. <laughs> they, they just licensed the IP and had pretty much nothing to do with the actual film. And because of that movie, Kamishima also hints that they're probably going to be avoiding live-action films, at least at the outset. Uh, they're in specific talks with potential partners right now, and Kamishima strongly intends on having the first release ready in under five years. What franchises they'll be using is top secret, of course. Kamishima understands there is a strong demand for a Zelda movie, but he dodged the question whether it will be Mario or Zelda uh, by saying they just want to use IP that people are very well familiar with to make a movie that everyone can enjoy. I find it interesting that he mentioned called out Zelda in particular because with the way they've been approaching the Zelda brand lately, and in particular the way they're going all in at this E3, Part of me almost expected to see a Zelda movie show up at E3, uh, something that would show uh, showcase the mm. the new branding that they're using, the new style, the new visuals, the new... Uh, it, it, it very much seems like a reboot of the franchise in some ways, so uh, any sort of uh, effort to get that, that franchise image out there uh, would be great, and I'm sure movies would be a really good way to do that. Yeah, yeah. I think it's probably too early to show off a Zelda movie yet, but... If they give it this this huge build up and this big launch, and then it comes out and it is very successful as a cross launch title on Wii U NX, and it helps to sort of boost NX sales and things like that, and uh, it really starts to establish itself, I could see them then using the success of the game to to kick off the movie and to really bring the Zelda brand to more people. Yeah, and I don't know that they would be doing it quite so soon now because, like Ben, you were sort of hinting at there this current iteration of Zelda is really untested. They may be putting a lot behind it, but, you know, I, I feel like especially in something like movies where Nintendo is just so new to that entire medium, I feel like they would... You know, Zelda is something so special to them and to people who like Zelda that it's something I think they would really want to make sure they know how to make movies really, really well before they actually try something with that franchise. Because, you know, if they make a mediocre Zelda film, especially if it's a game that then doesn't really end up taking off, that's a lot of eggs in a failing basket. So I think And they're... hell hath no fury like an angry Zelda fan. <laughs> and Zelda fans are basically always angry, so... <laughs> yeah, there you go. Yeah. yeah, I'll agree with that to some extent. I guess I just see Zelda as as probably the best choice to make a film. Yeah. Just because the story and universe are already most of the way there. Um, mm -hmm. I don't really see, like, for example, I don't really see a Mario movie having kind of the same impact. Although we just had the uh, Angry Birds movie, and that's yeah. apparently pretty successful. So, uh, who knows? Yeah. Uh, and I mean, I, I think the trick in adapting Mario would especially be figuring out, like, you know, what, what can you even do? do with those characters? Do you want to tell a story with Mario and Luigi and Peach and Toad and Bowser, or do you want to tell a story with Mario, you know, just running off to go rescue Peach from Bowser? Do you yeah. want to, you know, do you want to tell something more like Super Mario Bros, or more like... I want to say Super Mario 3D World, because I feel like that's sort of the the identity of Mario that they want to, you know, go out there with. At least with, visually. But at the same time, I, I, yeah, yeah. But at the same time, Galaxy has more of that sort of narrative pull in a way. Um, I think the weird yeah. thing for me for Mario is with the way the games have kind of, the game stories have kind of been told and the way the game's worlds have been presented, it's hard for me to kind of imagine that being something that's fleshed out in this cohesive, like, hour and a half, two hour Yeah, I mean, I think film. they're really going to have to, you know, not adapt any game or any identity from Mario. I think they're really just going to have to build up a, the idea of a Mario movie from the ground up, set it in the Mushroom Kingdom, you know, use the same sorts of characters and enemies and, and locales, but... You know, do something or uh, go the Paper Mario for, route for and use film. different that's, kinds of characters and places and locales. <laughs> you know, that's actually I was gonna say Paper Mario is the best single game that they could adapt into a Mario movie because it binds them. To, well, it, it doesn't bind them to this all these problems we're talking about with Mario. At the same time, it presents a unique aesthetic for the Mario universe that people can look at the movie and it's all made out of paper craft and like they can do so much creative stuff there visually. Uh, you know, and and in a way, Mario's sort of selling the movie, but the movie is built around the idea of that it's, you know, all this paper stuff is going on, and in that way, it's really creative and inspiring and, and doesn't sort of 
um, you know, th there's something else to it, and it's not just an adaption of Mario, but it's a visual spectacle as well. Mario would be a little more the marketing side of things, whereas, uh, you know, the, the papercraft setting would be, like, the charm of it, I think, that would really yeah. hook people. Yeah, and th I feel like the Paper Mario sort of story is easier to adapt to. Hello, everybody. Thank you for listening to this Nintendo Week Clip NWC. If you like what you hear, please subscribe to us here on YouTube for more highlights and discussion videos from Nintendo Week Podcast, or subscribe to us on iTunes for weekly breakdowns of all your Nintendo news, discussion segments on subjects, games, and more, and tons of other features. Thanks for listening, and we will see you tomorrow with another NWC.